Hello and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since my last video, but it's better late than never. So let's do something. And the idea for today's video is to build a relatively simple, not cheap, but simple mobile robot. So this is a robot with two motorized wheels and with a depth camera, which is going to be mounted also on the gimbal system, which would uh, be able to move for uh, in two degrees, in two degrees of freedom. I'm going to use this robot in order to learn the ROS and also in order to learn the Isaac. So this is two main reasons why I'm going to build this robot. For the brains of this robot, I'm going to use the Jetson Orin. And for the eyes of this robot, I'm going to use either RealSense or Kinect Azure. Either of it would be possible to mount on this robot. And I might also use the rear speaker USB mic array for the microphone. Let's get started. So this is a mobile robot. It has two wheels, one, two. This is a Kinect Azure camera. Over here, the Jetson Orin will be installed. And over here, this is a place for the batteries. Actually, I already started, so let's continue building this. So these are the parts for the wheel assembly, the 3D printed parts. And I'm going to use 6710 bearings. So this is the bearings with the 50 millimeter inner diameter, 62 millimeter outer diameter, and six millimeter width. The bearing goes on the shaft, just like this. The shaft goes into this huge piece. And the second bearing goes here, just like this. M4 nuts goes into these holes and over here. And after this part goes over here with the 50 millimeter long M4 screws. And now the shaft is fixed inside this piece. Next, this big pulley, which is going to be also the wheel. And over here I installed the M3 nuts. And so this piece goes here and it should be fixed to the shaft with a 50 millimeter long M4 screws. Just like this. And so there are two possibilities here. Either this pulley is going to be also the wheel or you can mount your own wheel using these holes with the M3 screws. This is the motor which I'm going to use. This is from T-Motor MN6007 KV160 and I mounted Motius controller at the back, also the magnet on the shaft for the encoder. These are the parts which I cut it with the water jet from aluminum plate, but you can make these parts also from the 3D printing, so from the PETG or PLA, but uh, be careful not to overheat them. And so the motor will be installed on this small part. So the motor should be installed just like this. So this is how it looks installed. Over here I put the nuts. M4. By the way, these screws are 16 mm long M4 screws. Now this piece goes here. And between two pulleys, we need to put the belt. This is GT2 6 mm wide belt, which has the length 400 millimeters, and this means that it has 200 teeth. I'm going to use 25 millimeter long screws to fix this piece to our frame. By the way, the motor is fixed on these slots. There is one here, one here, one here. And over there, there are two screws with which I can tension our belt. So. There is 20 millimeter long M4 screw here and here, and there is a square nuts over here. So this is how the assembly of one wheel looks like. Actually, this assembly could be used not only as a wheel, but also as kind of actuator. There is 32 T's over here and 176 T's over here. So you can calculate the reduction ratio. The belt is well tensioned. If you look over here, maybe like this, it's going to be better. The belt is a little bit proud from the pulley, so like this. When the robot is going to stand, it's going to stand on the belt. So the belt is going to play the role as a tire, kind of tire to grip on the surface. I know that this is not a great design, but this is simple design. So that's why I decided to use it. Of course, we need two wheels. That's why I have the second, exactly the same assembly. 
And now let's shortly talk about how you can win RTX 3080 Ti graphic cards and at the same time how you can learn AI and uh, also how you can learn uh, the new uh, development in the AI and how this new development in the AI can be applied to the robotics. And all this you can do with the GTC 22 conference from NVIDIA. To win RTX 3080 Ti there are four conditions. First of all, you need to register to the GTC 22 conference from NVIDIA using my link in the description to this video. Second, you need to be from the Europe, Middle East or Africa from these regions. Third point, you need to watch the keynote session and the fourth point, you need to watch some other session in this conference. And also uh, the fifth bonus point, you need to subscribe to my channel. And there are a lot of interesting sessions in this conference, so it should be interesting even without this RTX 3080 Ti raffle. But the raffle is there, so you have a huge chance to win this graphic card. So let me show you. There are keynote, there are also this for example session, which should be I think quite interesting, next wave of H, HAI and robotics. Also I'm going to attend this session, how to build a digital twin. So this should be about Isaac Sim. And there are some sessions for the beginners. Actually there are a lot of sessions for beginners. Deep learning demystified, getting started with Jetson AGX Orin. And yes, there are sessions for the beginners, there are sessions for intermediate level, there are sessions for real experts. So everyone would find something interesting on this conference. So register to this conference using my link in the description to this video. And of course this conference is free. As my channel is relatively small, the chances to win this card on my channel is very high, because not many people is going to participate. Now let's look where we're going to put these uh, wheels. And for this I have this frame. So this frame is made from the 20 by 40 aluminum extrusion. It has a length 310 millimeters. Over here I mounted this plate using the 16 millimeter long uh, M5 screws, one here, here and two from this uh, place. Also I use the T-nuts in the profile. And over here there is this plate for the Jetson O-ring. It's fixed with a 12 millimeter long M5 screws. And on this side there is a caster wheel. I think you don't need to know all the lengths of these screws because you can figure this out from the design which will be available through my Patreon. And all you need to know is that I use the metric screws and the metric nuts, of course, kind of logic. Yeah, so this is simple. Over here there is a standoffs and this is going to be used for the mount of the Jetson Orin. You'll see this. So the idea now is that we need to mount the wheels from each side of this frame. Nuts goes here, here and two from other side. One wheel is installed. The second wheel installs in the same manner. Ta-da! Two-wheeled robot. Now we just need to mount camera on it. And this is mostly assembled pan tilt system for the camera. For the pan motion it uses the same parts as for the wheels. Almost the same parts. This uh, huge uh, pulley is uh, a little bit different. But other parts exactly the same. And so the pan works like this. There is over here the screw which limits the motion. So like this the motion is not really 360, it's a little bit less. And so like this the cables which are going to pass through this hole are not going to be uh, like uh, broken. And for the tilt there is this pulley which is going to be actuated through the belt, through uh, the motor which is going to be installed over here. Let me show you. And over here I can tighten the belt. So now the belt is tightened. And basically we can tighten it with these two screws and with the screws over here and here. By the way, over here there is a channel for the cables from camera. So now this part should be installed in the middle of our mobile robot. So over here, somewhere like this. And for this I 3D printed these pieces, which has some nuts installed 
over here. But basically these pieces could be replaced by the extrusion 20 by 20. But I decided that 3D print these pieces are easier than to cut extrusions. So instead of aluminum extrusion, I have these pieces. This is wrong, this should be other way around. This one goes here and this one goes here. This, two, this piece and this piece, they are mirrored, so they are not the same. Yeah, so it actually should be like this. And now we need to attach this piece to this one. So these are our mobile robot, almost assembled completely. And the only two things left to do, uh, three things, not two things, three things left to do, four things left to do, is to mount the camera, mount the Jetson Orin, wire everything and write the program for it. Let's mount the camera. This is Azure Connect camera, it's not mine, I borrow it for this project. And we're going to fix it using this screw. This is the only non-metric screw that I have. Yeah, this is a standard screw which you use uh, to mount your camera and uh, other optical stuff. And it has half inch lens. This screw goes over here. And you mount the camera with this screw. Oh, already looks great. And now the brain of this robot goes here. This is Jetson AGX Orin, the most powerful Jetson and also the best embedded single board computer for the AI application, for the robotics. Over here it has the holes like this and these holes are going where there is distance. So it basically goes like this. And this robot should not jump, it should be like simple robot which drives relatively slowly. So AGX Orange should not uh, fly away, uh, it should be good enough as a fixation like this. It looks actually quite cool. The camera can go a little bit up and all the way down. This should be really funny small robot. So we have finished with the hardware. Everything looks fine and now what we need to do is the wiring and the software. But I'm going to do this in the next video because it's going to take a lot of time. And before finishing this video I would like to say a huge thank you to people who support me via Patreon and via YouTube channel membership. Here are their names. Thank you guys and girls, you are the best. And as usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time.